thing that we're going to discuss today is fragrance. I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aaliyah if you're new and welcome back to a new video. So today's video is going to be a recap of all of the things that I got in the year of 2022 that was on my ultimate it girl wish list. If you have not seen that video, it'll be up here in the cards or and it'll be in the description box below. I want you guys to make sure you check out that video before you watch this one, just so you can compare the things that I did get versus the things that I did not get. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. The video is gonna be broken down into three main parts. We're gonna talk about the things that I did get, the things that I did not get yet, and girl, we're even gonna discuss some things that I got that was not even put on the previous wish list. Shame on me. But let's get started with the first category, which is gonna be fragrance. If you see me looking to my left, I'm looking at my list and I'm reaching for my things. So we're gonna start with the first fragrance that I got, which is the Lena Exclusif. Um, this was at the very top of my wish list for 2022. And guys, I actually got it for my elopement that happened in April Woo! of 2022. And um, this made the perfect wedding scent. So if this is on your list, girl, please don't hesitate. Buy this now. If the price is a little steep for you, you can always get the travel version and smell the same. Okay. So I got my Delina. Um, after Delina, I did get Chance by Chanel. This was a gift from my hubby. A sweet surprise after the wedding. He got me this in May. This is the toilet version, and I love it so much that I am going to get the real perfume. Yes, I love these two. And then lastly, guys, I got this one as a surprise when I went to Cabo in December. I got the Cartier Visor Volet. If I butchered that name, I am so sorry. But guys, this is a very light and subtle scent, but it's very sophisticated. So I was in the store, in the duty-free store, and I was like, do I love this? Do I like this? I sprayed it on me. I walked around the store, and as it mellowed down with my natural body odor, my natural scent, I was like, yes, this works really well for me. So. This is the last fragrance purchase that I made in the year 2022, and I am super happy with all of my fragrance purchases. The next thing that I wanna talk about is travel. So on my It Girl wish list, I told you guys that I wanted to visit at least one international location and one domestic location, and I did just that, okay? So in July of 2022, my husband and I went to Rome, Italy, Pompeii, Italy, and the Amalfi Coast. I'll pop some pictures up on the screen, but stay tuned for that vlog. Then in December of 2022, I went to Los Cabos for a destination wedding. So those were the two international places. And then I went to New Orleans in November of 2022. So that was my one domestic location that I visited. So now that we have talked about the places that I traveled, I want to get into the bags that I got. Now, if you guys can remember, I told y'all that I was not getting all of the bags that's on that list, but I did get four. Yes, four bags, girl. I guess you could say 2022 was the year of bags for me because I did get quite a few. Four might not be a lot to some people, but to me, that is a lot because I'm the type of girl who carries the same purse, okay? Um, but since I've told y'all that I went to Italy, I wanna start with a bag that I got in Italy. So on the previous video, I said I wanted the YSL um, collage or the YSL, I forgot the other name, but I ended up getting the YSL So Kate. Here she is in all of her glory. Um, she comes in this beautiful black embossed print. 
with the gold hardware. I told you guys that I would have liked black on black, and I did try that on in the store. However, it didn't do anything for me, girl. So I decided to get the So Kate with the gold hardware, and I love her, okay? She's amazing. Next on the docket is Brandon Blackwood. I got this beautiful Brandon Blackwood bag in February of 2022 when he did his first big release of the year. Guys, please do not talk about me. This bag is still <laughs> wrapped in its paper. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to post it on my social medias. So please be sure to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram so you can see the unboxing video. But this is going to be my spring purse for 2023. And I got a completely different color than what I wanted in that previous video. So isn't she beautiful? Look at the, look at how she's engraved with the crocodile print. Like, oh my God, just gorgeous, right? Okay, guys. So the next purse that I got was this beautiful Marc Jacobs tote bag. And originally I wanted the color black, but when I saw this color, I fell in love. I got this purse in February of 2022 as a Valentine's Day gift from my husband. And I have worn this bag quite a few times. As you can see, I have tied this beautiful scarf around it just to give the purse some personality. And I think it looks so freaking cute. If I'm not mistaken, this is the medium purse, which is the perfect size for me. And yeah, you guys, I love her. The next category is going to be digital items. So I only had two things on my previous It Girl wish list, which were um, a digital camera and a drone. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, I did not get the drone. And the cameras that I was choosing between was the Canon ZV-1. No, the Canon G7X and the Sony ZV-1. Girl, let me tell you, I did not get either of those cameras, okay? I'm recording on my iPhone 13 Pro Max right now. The quality looks amazing. Um, so one of those cameras will be purchased this year. Um, I kind of stuck to my, my previous uh, stipulation, if you want to call it that. Um, I told myself that I was not going to buy a digital camera until I had at least four videos uploaded. And I only have two videos uploaded right now working on the third one so i'm gonna buy the um the vlogging camera this year but the camera that i did get for christmas from my husband is this canon rebel now something that a lot of you guys may not know about me is i am a person i love to create so i'm a creative I love to create digital content and I want to get into photography. Um, I take all of me, Myron and Rocco's Christmas pictures, any pictures that I have um, that look professional or look pretty good, I take them myself on my iPhone. So I said to myself, why not just get a camera? This is the T5. It is pretty old. Um, I wanted to start with something that was not so expensive just to see if I can figure out the settings and all of the things. So this is what I got for Christmas. It comes with uh, two different lenses and I've been using it and it's pretty good so far. So will I be upgrading this T5 this year? You gotta stay tuned to find out. Okay guys, I also wanted to add the reason why I decided to get the Canon is because in December of 2022, my content creator friend Morgan and I, we did take pictures with her friend's camera and his camera was a Canon. I do not know if it was a Canon T5 or something a little bit more expensive, but you guys, our pictures came out so good. So once we got our pictures back, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get a Canon camera. So that further influenced uh, the purchase of the Canon T5. So I'm gonna put that picture uh, somewhere on the screen so you guys can see the quality. I edited it myself and I think I did a pretty good job, you guys. One of the things that I had on my wish list that does not require tangible items is home decor. Now, 
one of my goals for 2022 was to finish decorating my apartment. And in the previous video, I told you guys that Myron and I would be moving within the next six months. Guys, we ended up extending our lease. And so we're still in the same place. And I did end up getting more decorations. However, my apartment is not finished. I know everyone who has a house, who has an apartment, any place that you might call home, everybody tells me that it takes a very long time to decorate. And I'm slowly coming to terms with that. I've gotten, like my apartment does not look empty, but there are still some things that I need to get. And it's very hard for me to go in the store and find things. So I'm just going to have to take it one area at a time, like a desk area, a living room area, finish that, and then move on to the next one. However, I am proud of the progress that I have made. Another thing that I talked about in the previous video was jewelry. I wanted some Chanel earrings and I also wanted a Crystal 28 JBW watch. Guys, I ended up not getting either one of those things. Uh, for my birthday, I ended up getting the uh, YSL bag that you saw earlier. So I did not get the Chanel earrings. And I honestly forgot. <laughs> I honestly forgot about the JBW watch. Um, so maybe that's something I can get in 2023. It's still a beautiful piece. I just forgot about it. The year went by so fast, okay? That's gonna be my reason. The year just went by super, super fast. So those two things I did not get. Um, I guess 2023 might be the year of jewelry and I wanna build a shoe collection as well. So 2023 might be my year of shoes and jewelry. I feel like 2022 was my year of travel and purses so yeah let's get into some of the things that i purchased that were not on the previous wish list now it's not this huge amount of things guys there's only two things that i purchased last year that i did not have my eye on so i was always the type of person that was like i would never buy luxury sunglasses they're so expensive and they're made with the same products but i'm proud to say I've grown up <laughs> and I purchased my first pair of luxury sunnies and they are from uh, Bradbury. So this is the case and the glasses are in here. Let's take them out. I got these super cute, super sleek Burberry sunnies with the B on the side. And guys, I love these shades. Um, they are so cute. Let's put them on for your viewing pleasure. And when I tell you, I put them on and I feel like that girl, like, who you know? Who you know, sleek, cute, looking bossy with the all black. Y'all know I love all black. All black was the theme uh, for the last video. And I stay true to that with my sunnies, okay? They are all black. They don't have any gold hardware, silver hardware, or anything like that. And I fear I'm that girl with these glasses on, okay? Don't play with me. Play with your... Ah! Yeah, so let's take these off. <laughs> I do plan on purchasing more designer sunnies in the year of 2023. Now to know about the ones that i want you gotta stay tuned okay you have to stay tuned for my 2023 wish list another thing that i got that was not anywhere on my radar was a designer belt you guys this is another purchase that i made in italy and it is a dolce gabbana belt i have only worn this thing once um but in the year 2023 i told myself i was gonna do better and dress up more wear it to work and all of the different places that i might go take it with me internationally on domestic vacations i'm basically pledging to wear this belt a lot more um i love this belt i decided to get dg just to be different um i feel like everyone has the gucci belt so i was like i told myself i was gonna get the Dolce and Gabbana one to be different. I tried it on in the store, you guys. I'll put a picture up and I fell in love. I just feel 
like it elevated my style. And that was one thing that was on my goal list for 2022. I just wanted to elevate in all areas. So this was a part of that elevation. All right, guys, we have made it to the end of the video, which I am very surprised about because it just seemed like it took me so long to record the wish list video. And the recap video did not take that long, which I'm not complaining about. But if you stayed around this long, I rocks with you and I hope you liked this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave a comment below of your favorite item. Also guys, be sure to follow me on social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.